everyone, and welcome to the Royal News Network Saturday morning live stream. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. It feels like it's been very strange in the royal world, to say the least. Obviously, we have the huge, huge controversy with Catherine's photoshopped picture, which I still think is something that has been blown absolutely out of proportion based on what it is. And obviously, as well, we have Megan launching her lifestyle brand, which we all knew was coming. But it, it's abysmally poor. I mean, it almost irritates me so much. I'm not even a professional marketing person, but I just like see the massive mistakes her and her team have made. And I'm like, say what now? Well, how did you guys make such critical errors? And I did sign up for the email wait list for one of my emails just to keep up because I was hoping to see something professional like a welcome email. Of course, it didn't happen. So lack of professionalism is still even with their latest brands, not shock at all. So we have so much going on. We still obviously have William at the Diana Awards, obviously Megan launching her lifestyle brand right before the Diana Awards, right before William was supposed to speak, right before even hus her own husband was supposed to speak. Obviously, they gave away part of their um, NAA NAACP award. And so just lots of sort of like awful behavior from Harry and Megan over the last couple of days and, you know, exploiting you know, family members whose, you know, loved one was killed in a school shooting. That's always lovely as well. So lots going on. So we will talk about all this today. And I'm so excited that you guys are here with me and Miss Pippa, if you guys are wondering, she is currently on my bed, sleeping on the laundry. And so I, she was like, she went up there and she curled right in and she almost kind of camouflages in because she's black and I was doing dark colored clothing. So it's kind of funny. Uh, we do have Maria here, Angela's one of our members. Good morning, Brittany and Miss Pippa. And we have Rosa. Good morning from Galatia, Spain. We have Kathy as well. Good morning from Mississippi, one of our members. And we got Wendy. Good morning. And it says, is the British Royal family the only one that does Easter and Christmas walks to church? Do other families have interesting holiday traditions? Doesn't one do a comedy show? So I don't know about the comedy show, but I know at least when it comes to Christmas, I know I think we usually see the Norwegians go to church. We see most of them on their way to church. I know we saw the Danes as well. And so we usually see some of them going to church, but it's not as I would say as formal as the British is. And when it comes to Easter, I think we will see them all either on their way to church, arriving to church, something like that. Um, I don't think everyone necessarily, but it is a, a considered a pretty consistent thing that they do because most of them are Christian. So it does make sense. And we got just a couple of things here. We got new member Shaz. Thank you so much for becoming a member. We also have Marsha. Thank you so much for the tip this morning. Good morning from Iowa. And Chateau Paper Crafts. Can we discuss the color of the logo? Beige. Yes. Megan's logo is awful. I actually wanted to do like a short or a TikTok or something, even though I hate TikTok. Talking about the different descriptions of the, the logo. I've heard people call it... Um, People have said it's antlers. I see a bunch of squiggly lines. Some people have said it looks like female reproductive organs. <laughs> and another person said a smushed bug. So yeah, in the comments, you should let me know. What do you think Mega Markle's logo looks like? Because there truly is a very, very awful logo. Um, I do actually have it up here because um, I did was looking on Instagram and as well. And I'll probably do a whole video on this because again, like the lack of business prowess with Megan is truly shocking. Um, so here it is, American Riviera. Let's see, this was an old number. So let's see what we have now in terms of followers. Oh, 472, like, um, but yeah, you can see the logo down here. And I, 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 I see the R, I see the A. I don't really see the O though. So what? I don't understand. I don't understand. So yes, anyways, looks terrible, I think, in my personal opinion. It's a terrible logo, terrible design, um, something that you can obviously very much, like that it's just such simple mistakes from branding and marketing perspective. It's, it's really shocking. It's really shocking how bad it is. It looks like it was a rush job. <laughs> Literally is what it looks like. Uh, so Wendy says, um, I, I think the family you're referring to is in region. Sometimes they do a variety show. Yes, they have done that at certain events. Last one I think was the, I think was the King's 80th birthday. They did it. And so that was actually very, very cute. 
So the crown prince and the crown princess dressed up like a, the king and queen. No, no, the crown prince and his sister, Princess Martha Louise, dressed up like the king and queen. And then the crown princess dressed up like Princess Astrid, which is the king's older sister. I think she's older. Um, so I, it was very cute. And they kind of had a fun bit asking other royal family members about different things. One of them was like Crown Princess Victoria kind of ribbing her on the differences between Norway like some some joke about Norway and Sweden and like um, skiing or something to that effect. So kind of making fun of their mutual love of winter sports. So anyways, a very cute. Anne says, I bought the High Grove products at TJ Maxx at a discount. She is copying High Grove shop items. Yeah, it seems like it. And honestly, too, it's just, I mean, she's got to make it something interesting. And I just don't see that yet. All right. And Kyle says, thank you so much for the tip. Tired of Catherine being dumped on. Love your new digs. You totally fly. Megan's logo sucks. <laughs> Treats for Pippa from Malcolm the cat. Oh, thank you so much, Malcolm. That is so sweet. I'm sure she will be very, very excited. I actually gave her a bone this morning and I told her it was from all the followers because <laughs> I was like, oh, you really want one and I will let you have one. So, but right now she's sleeping. Uh, this fan says, uh, good morning, Brittany. I blame Kate, uh, Kensington Palace for this blunder. They need an in-between with someone like Chris Jackson. And I believe Princess Catherine is following Queen E's footsteps. This would never have happened had Harry and Meghan left. Uh, I don't know necessarily if Harry and Meghan left, if that wouldn't have happened. But I think the thing is, yes, there was some breakdown somewhere within the palace. And I don't know if William and Catherine decided that they were going to post this all on their own without really running it by their team, which they shouldn't have done. And their team should have also really scrutinized these, the image and asked, hey, did you guys Photoshop this, et cetera, et cetera. Let's just look. And so there was a breakdown somewhere. And I think this may have happened whether or not Harry and Meghan were there. And just because this was, I think, something that Catherine and William put together. And I don't think either they didn't run it by their team again or they didn't really, they weren't really clear with their team, something to that effect. And so that is how that sort of all kind of collapsed on itself. So it is a blunder. It's one I hope they learn from. And I do think they need to learn through this situation is that they need to be uh, more savvy when it comes to communications and social media. They, they shouldn't let rumors just run rampant and they do need to figure out how to address certain things. Cause obviously as well, this just may have been somewhat mitigated if the palace was able to do something to show Catherine in some form, not that obviously it would be difficult, but still, that's kind of, I think, what we need to go for. Oh, we have a couple of things. Jessica Reed gifted 10 Royal News Networks memberships. So I thank you so much, Jessica. And I'm really excited because I was going to do it this week. And obviously, things got so weirdly crazy. But next week, as well, we'll do a run through with the whole program we're going to do for the live stream. And I'm very, very excited about that with, like, the general Royal News that everybody, every that I don't, I can't always get to from time to time. So Gina says, good morning. It's raining cats and dogs here in Las Vegas. Meghan Markle went skiing with her friends. Harry went skiing with his friends. What do you think is up with them? Well, number one, I thought it was weird that he went with Corey Gamble, who's Chris Jenner's like boy toy guy. I was like, okay, so I guess they're both boy toys <laughs> or something. I, don't know. Uh, so I just thought it was a little odd. And Harry just looks completely emasculated and honestly as well yes i get the kardashians have been much more infused into hollywood they're considered much more respectable and those sorts of things but harry and megan need to buckle under and work and they need to stop going on vacations and holidays and all those sorts of things they need to be seen like working and obviously we can't see them working all the time but you know how we know they're working is that they give us products and they haven't been giving us products i am still shocked that megan launched this brand and did not and was not finished filming her show and ready for it to go out the next week. I don't know how long that profile is going to sit there before anything happens with it. And that to me is just inexcusable from a business perspective. You don't want to leave things hanging. Uh, I, you know, I've launched this channel, which I wish I had more videos filmed before I launched this channel. It's just kind of in a rush because I wanted to do a, a year, I think, yeah, I think a year retrospective on Harry and Meghan's interview with Oprah. And so that date was coming up. So I, I launched the channel. But I also wish I had more in more videos in stockpile. But I knew, too, I couldn't launch the channel without giving people more content. And then the other thing I did with the fashion channel is when I launched, I put three videos on there. 
because I needed, I wanted people to get going with it quickly. So yeah, I, I don't remember if I got to Heather. Good morning, everyone from Chile, Ontario. Lisa said, what is with the new Archwell website about absent parents? I haven't really seen, um, seen that. Like, <laughs> Oh gosh. They're just such, they're so digital civil rights award that they gave and they need to do a video on that and everything. But, um, yeah, that's, that's all I see so far, but yeah, it's not a surprise. Um, maybe, Oh gosh, I filmed a video and then I forgot to post it. I didn't post it. I'll have to look for it. <laughs> I was like, where did I put it? Um, so it was about Megan's whole motherhood report thing, which I, I again, I found pretty abysmal. So Chris Cook said, good morning. Good morning. We have gemstone girl one zero eight. Good afternoon from Bath, UK. And Sharon says, good morning or good morn. Desert Mermaid said, hi, everyone. It's cold here in Scottsdale, Arizona. What does Orchard need in the new brand mean for Megan? It it's, sounds stupid. It makes no sense. It doesn't make any sense. It really does. And I think that's a huge problem is number one, American Riviera, just as a brand name, it just sounds old. And so you add Orchard on too. It just sounds really old. It's not progressive. It's not innovative. And you can say what you want, but Goop is, is good. Goop is good. Goop is, for a brand name is very good. It is sort of, I don't know if I would say necessarily shocking, but it it's adds interest. And I don't think Megan's brand does that at all. It sounds so old fashioned and out of touch and out of date and everything that it's like, it's almost really surprising. And yes, she doesn't have to be you know, something like Goop probably wouldn't work for her, but she could come up with a better brand name than what is it now? American Riviera Orchard, which doesn't even roll off the tongue. Doesn't even roll off the tongue. It's just shocking how bad it is. It's very, very bad. So I don't know if she has an orchard. I don't know if the orchard she's talking about is the two trees in her backyard. I mean, it could be anything. <laughs> Di says, good morning from Missouri. Yeah, Jessica Reed, one of our members. Good morning from Dane County, Wisconsin. Sharon says, good morning, all. We have Olinda from Madrid and Nana from Alberta and Ritz from Chicago. Sarah, greetings from Ireland. And I'm wearing green. I know you, it looks kind of dark, but it is technically green for St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. I forgot to mention that this morning. I was so excited. Water said, good morning from sunny Maryland. We are in our false spring. Well, I, it's pretty close to spring here. We're going to get some cooler temperatures where I'm at this next week, but it's actually been very warm. Kimberly says, good morning, everyone. Baltimore, Maryland here. We have, um, um, crochet girl, gal. Good morning from Phoenix. We have Laura. Good morning, Brittany and Miss Pippa. Elizabeth said, good morning from Manitoba, Canada. Compass Road. Good morning. One of our member, Gorgon's Girl. Good morning, Daphne. Greetings from North Kent, UK. Water says, Brittany, you should do behind the scenes videos, how you get things ready and set up, but in Miss Pippa's point of view. Oh, that's so funny. I do like that. I do like that. Oh man, I'm, I'm planning on doing maybe hopefully at some point, because I want to like create like an sort of office not office like spoof spoof, but like office seemed with Miss Pippa as my coworker. Um, and I just think that would be really funny, but I like it uh, behind the scenes, Pippa's point of view. <laughs> Cause she would complain about, she would watch me and she'd go, why is she on her phone when she should be working? <laughs> or it's like, she's still sleeping. Shouldn't we get up? My gosh, that's my thing of you. Okay. I am writing that down though. Cause that is funny. That is, that is very funny. Uh, K, uh, K uh, Meta Dot says, good morning from Lenexa, Kansas. Uh, Laner says, good morning, everyone from Northern California. We will be having sun here today too. Once it comes up. Yes. It's still early there. Mega catcher says, don't we all think Catherine drama could be resolved with a quick video similar to what King Charles did for his cancer diagnosis. I know she wants privacy, but could silence the critics. Yeah. I think it would be somewhat helpful. I, I feel like they need to do something. Um, and I, I mean, obviously I do feel very, very bad for Catherine. And obviously I think the surgery probably took more out of her than she wanted it to. And maybe she doesn't look quite the same yet. And the, you know, she's very self-conscious about that. Again, there could be a lot of reasons why, but yes, um, UK royalty, one of their suggestions was they should have had Catherine doing some behind the scenes videos, like from home and stuff, you know, working with her early years team or something that way they could see her. And that would have, should have been planned before disappearing probably for as long as she did probably wasn't the best idea. Um, Martha Jacoba 
Thank you so much for the super sticker this morning. You are so kind. And I should say too, when I was thinking about Catherine's um, situation, obviously it's, it is very challenging. Now I lost my Trina, a thought, but yes, I should have. I think, I think the thing that's catching the palace off guard is sort of the arrogance of thinking they could make a simple announcement and that everybody would leave them alone. I don't think that was probably realistic and probably comes from a bit of arrogance in this situation. So Terry says, good morning from Philadelphia. DG is it possible our poor sweet princess Catherine is taking steroids for her condition and not, and does not feel quite camera ready just yet. Yeah. Entirely possible. And who could blame her? Like if you look terrible, would you want to be out in, in public, especially when you're known for looking a certain way and you know, she, she's, she's speaking a lot more now than she used to, but I mean, she really was sort of silent. So you really just saw her. So again, I think that's, that's hard. Debani says, good morning from Twin Falls, Idaho. And we have Tiffany. Good morning all from Wisconsin. Megan should really look good, uh, really good. Megan should be really good at AROs and she knows how to really stir a pot. Yeah. I don't know what the acronym stands for, but it's still a terrible acronym. Terrible name. K coffee says, good morning from Florida. Miss Annie says hi to Miss Pippa. She says hi back. Um, Jenny says, good morning from Portland, Oregon. We got Becky. Good morning from Northeast Texas. A week later in the air is so much fresher than last weekend. Yeah, it's, it's already getting there. It's crazy. I think Megan is trying to be Joanna Gaines, not even close to Joanna Gaines. Yeah, Joanna Gaines has a lot of talent. Megan doesn't have a ton. And she could, I guess, technically be decent at cooking. And we just don't know. But I also wonder, too, if she's like doing a cooking show, I'm like, well, does she have her own recipes? Is she copying from other people? Like. I just, she's not from all indicators. And this has been a, a long, long string that we've seen her over the years. She's not an original thinker. She's not really a creative. And so I just have a hard time imagining that she is actually creating any of the things like the cooking recipes and stuff like that, that she's probably going to be selling uh, when it comes to, and when she does, she doesn't have necessarily a great eye because obviously I think she's the one who designed the logo, which looks terrible. And I think nobody could tell her no. And she didn't learn that less is more <laughs> oftentimes. And you can say maybe I talk too much in my videos, but hey, it is my videos. But I, I think Megan, again, making huge mistakes here. Nana says the brand new name means Markle has an apple orchard in South France, <laughs> maybe. But then it shouldn't be like French Riviera Orchard. That actually rolls off the tongue a bit better. French Riviera Orchard. That rolls off the tongue better than American Riviera Orchard. It's just, yeah. Again, it's kind of funny the things that roll off the tongue and, and not. Uh, <laughs> Gorgon's Girl said American Riviera Orchard is awful. It sounds like a military call sign. <laughs> I like that. Kira Adams says, good morning from Idaho. Happy anniversary to your channel. I thank you. Uh, thank you for all your hard work. My daughter is touring London today. I told her to bring us home some Wittards to try. Yes, you should. I, I have, um, they have cookies and cream. Um, and yeah, go into the store. There's actually one. If your daughter likes Harry Potter, there's a Harry Potter store down that direction as well. It's towards the Royal Muse um, where they, they have the horses and stuff. There is a Wittard right by there. So, or, and I should say the Royal Muse is right by Buckingham Palace. So I can picture it. So if I'm looking at Buckingham Palace and you go to the left and you follow the street closest to the palace wall, you'll find a Wittard's. It'll be on... You you have all the way, but it will be on the other side of the street because there's just a wall where Buckingham Palace is. Nana says, <laughs> Mega Catcher 2022. I agree. 22. I agree. Yes. And I will say as well, too, if you are at Buckingham Palace, stick around close to like maybe five, six ish, because sometimes you'll see Charles leaving Buckingham Palace. I don't know if he's doing that quite right now, but um, me and my mom ca caught him. We were actually in London for our first trip with followers and we just happened to catch him leaving the palace. It was pretty awesome. Elaine says, good morning from Rhode Island. Coffee says, I've had abdominal surgery. You are bloated for months. Yeah. And I mean, if she's bloated, I like, I, again, I just don't blame her. We have Tanya Black. Thank you so much for the super sticker. Tanya, I really do appreciate it. One of our members. And we have another member too, Tracy, Australia. Oh my goodness, $10. Thank you. And I hope that you're not up too, too late because I know that's pretty, pretty late over there for sure. 
Um, so thank you though. I really appreciate it. We have Ritz as well. So in addition to smoking and watching videos of others, so she can copy them or to believe she's been working on this nonsense for a year, huh? Honestly, I don't think she has. This seems very rushed and ill-planned to me personally. And again, I am not a marketing expert. I just know generally what quote unquote good practices are. And she should have been like the, if she was going to launch this again, she should have products ready to go already. And the cooking show should be done and in the box and ready to launch the next week. That's what she should be doing. And she should also let us know more about what this brand is going to be. Like the video gives us nothing. Like the flowers and cooking make sense. Her standing on the veranda in a $5,000 gown does not make sense. It doesn't make sense. Sheila says, hello, everyone. Hello. We have leaners. Tiffany, I thought the ARL video was silly. Um, Laura says, if Meghan Markle's new brand is American Riviera Orchard, why does her logo have the initials ARM? No idea. <laughs> Again, it's a poorly, poorly designed logo. Uh, we have tea time with Mima. Thank you so much for the tip. I'm sorry, Brittany. It is Princess Catherine's right to privacy, not arrogance. Perhaps it is a reset on the oversharing. Hello to Miss Pippa. Yes. So I just mean not necessarily arrogance on um, Catherine's part, but I think it is arrogance sometimes on the palace's part in their communications is that they don't feel like they have to do certain things because they're a palace and they're royalty. And I think royals can be definitely very guilty of that. Um, and I think this is one time where it definitely did sort of catch them off guard. And I think they should have been more apt and willing to move with different things. And yes, of course, there is privacy to consider, but as well, we can't forget that the internet oftentimes sets the thing and they just um, set the narrative and they just, they just really drop the ball. Like that's, that's the bottom line here. The palace completely and utterly dropped the ball. And I think they need a better communications team because um, they can be very stiff and very formal and that's part of being royalty. But at this point they need somebody who can jump on things quickly. And they really, again, really missed, missed the boat here. Nanette, thank you so much for becoming a member. We're so glad to have you. Laura, one of our members, says, if Meghan Markle's new brand is American Riviera Orchard, why does her logo initials ARN? Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. And I think I got to that one over ready. Becky says, I feel like she wants to be Gwyneth, Jennifer Garner. And if she starts a book club, then Reese Witherspoon too. Yeah, and Reese Witherspoon obviously has Draper James as well, which is a clothing line. Don't know how well that's doing. I thought about ordering something from them once and didn't end up doing that. But I just, it's, it's yeah, it's just sort of, she's just not those though. Because those women, I feel like have an, at least an air of authenticity to them. Megan Merkel does it. <laughs> Ooh, sorry. Goodness gracious is me. Okay. It's that time of year, guys. Oh, all right. And we have Nancy. Thank you so much for becoming a YouTube member. And we have Colleen as well, gifted five Royal News Net Network memberships. Thank you so much, Colleen. I know people really, really enjoy them. We have Ka Karina. Hello, Brittany. Greetings from foggy Finland. I wouldn't mind going to Finland. I met, well, I don't know if I met, if, like met, met them. But there was a Finn covering the Swedish Golden Jubilee because, you know, all the uh, Nordic states, as they call themselves, are close. <laughs> Nana says the recent debacle makes people realize what a rock star the late queen really was. Yes. And there was just so as well, I think an air of respect and there's just certain things people didn't want to do. And I don't think, and I think the current Royals, although they have a lot of respect too, are still sort of riding that wave. And I think they need to sort of adjust their expectations in my personal opinion. Uh, Water said, I think the whole Princess Catherine picture drama was horrible. Everyone edits their photos these days. But when Catherine, Princess Catherine does it with some mistakes and it's a crime, give me a break. Yeah, it's just crazy. It's just craziness. Peggy says, good morning from beautiful Singer Island, Florida. Down here from Michigan for a quick visit. Sounds good. Heather says, good morning, everyone from Georgia, one of our members. And Jane Bucks fan, the only word that makes sense in her brand is American. Yeah. And she's, but she's also trying to be royal. <laughs> So it's weird. Uh, Emily says, good morning from Houston. <laughs> She's copying high grove honey for commercial gain. Yes. And I mean, but the thing is too, is like high grove honey. If I went and got high grove honey, I would assume it was from high grove. 
I don't know where she would get her stuff. Like she doesn't have enough land to be like, she, she doesn't have an orchard as far as we're aware. Like if, if having an orchard, it just doesn't make any sense. I can't make sense of it. I can't make hide nor hair of it. When Lizzie B says Archibald Orchard could have been a better name, a lifestyle brand. It takes years to develop. I'm reminded of Goop and Honest Brand by Jessica Jennifer, Jessica Alba. Yes, this feels very, very rushed and very ill-planned to me. And again, we don't know all the things that are going on behind the scenes, but I feel like the logo is an early draft and the the name is an early draft of something that would have been eliminated 12 like iterations from now. And yes, yeah, sometimes you stumble on something and it's like, yes, that's that's right. And I don't think I personally wavered too much on what my name for my channel was going to be. But like when it comes to history, I've, I've thought a lot about, you know, before this one, I thought a lot about doing a history one. And I had like a whole notebook filled with notes of what I was going to do for a history channel podcast or something like literally a whole like um, moleskin notebook filled with notes. And I didn't end up getting there, but it's like, you know, you have ideas, you have to run through the different ideas. Does this work? Does that work? You know, who else has this name? And it's like, it is hard. You have to think about it a lot, I think. And I just feel like this thing was not well thought through and just feels very like reactionary. Kirkins girl says, I don't understand why orchard is in the name seems out of place. Yes. And American Ria Riviera for the beginning is awful because a, it's already awful. American Riviera orchard very long. It's not even quick and simple to put on things. And then you had the addition of shortening it to American Riviera. A lot of things start with American Riviera. Like, again, this is just like stupid mistakes that could be totally avoided. I actually was thinking of doing like a mock or a spoof of like what a good brand Meghan Markle could have had. I actually came up with, let me see if I can find it here real quick. I actually came up with, um, the brand name she should have used. She should have used, um, Rhodesia. Rhodesia, I think is how you pronounce it. And their cluster lilies, which could be like a reflection of a little bit. And they're wildflowers that grow in that area. And I thought to me, like that would seem so much better because that would be like your breakfasting lily. You can utilize because the flowers are pretty and they're purple and you can sort of utilize them to make a great brand. But yeah, because <laughs> if you're really trying to like reference Montecito, Santa Barbara, then there were other better ways to do that like american riviera orchard awful just awful so much okay uh, elaine says i hashtag i stand with Catherine. yes uh fem says it's early to say if it's a failed branch you just started yesterday to be fair yes it is fair but um i think when it comes to launch you can 100 say it was a big fl fat flop and um, that's what it was, my video title was going to be, I think, because I want to do a video called the Duchess of Beige, but I want to talk about her fashion. But the Duchess of Beige also stands for her brand. And yes, it could be a massive success. It could be. But I also think there are like, I, I like if she could have come up with a better name, I would have been more impressed. But the name, the logo, the seemingly lack of content ready for it just all scream something that was not well planned and more likely to fail and obviously as well when i pulled it up it's still let's see it's at 472,000 likes now 473 so it's growing but very slowly and again too i signed up for the email and got no welcome email and again it's just like simple things they could have done from a business perspective that they did not uh, Lindsay said, good afternoon from Scotland. Lori says, Brittany, did you read Richard K's article in the Daily Mail this morning? Would love to get your thoughts. I think that was one. I remember reading the, like he said, like the royal family is on the brink or something, I think is how he, how he put it. And I don't think that's quite right, but yeah. Okay. Let's see. I thought it was Richard Eden. So I didn't go. So Richard K and passion warning that cannot be ignored. Um, yeah, I think again, they are showing the institution showing its age in a lot of ways. Oh, sorry. The camera is like having trouble focusing. All right. I was like, keep waiting for it. Are you okay? <laughs> camera. Okay. Come on. Stop. Um, I don't know why it's doing that. Okay. It seems to have stopped now. I moved too much and I think it freaked it out. It's been doing that this whole time. I'm so sorry if it has. Shouldn't be. It hasn't didn't do this last time. Uh so I uh when it comes to like the monarchy is if it's 
goodness, it's if it's falling apart. I actually got two books, and these were both I got from like um. I'm gonna do this, and the camera's gonna freak out again. Um, both of these are like Windsor and Crisis books from the '90s. So they say this from time to time. Yes. So the the industry always does, and the Windsors have survived. But I will say too, this I think shows the institution's age. And how they really still are riding the coattails of Elizabeth and they need to sort of do a top down, I think, reevaluation of how things are done. And they can't just ride sort of on what's been done before and this has worked and stuff like that. And yes, I know they've been trying to change some things, but I think in a way the old guard is there. And so everything's still the same. Goodness, I don't know why it keeps doing that. Um, and so I think they just need to figure out how to, how to fix that. Okay. Stop it. Okay. Oh, that did stop it. I was worried if I did that, it wouldn't stop it. <laughs> Orchard, it means, uh, she grows her own. Yes. Um, Oakley says I could not care less. Catherine edited the photos, not issue, not in. On issue made into nonsense. Yes, 100%. Nana says, sorry, all I agree with some pundits about poor judgments made by Kensington Palace to release a poorly edited po photo. Yes, I do agree with that too. Something should have should have been done to avoid such, again, a, an obviously silly mistake. Kyle Strand says, Jane Bucks fan, I spent the first 12 years of my life in Safety, uh, safety Harbor. I remember when Bucks created all. Barbara Brown says, does anyone have any info about what she's taking the name out of Santa Barbara Bank, the high growth products? Uh, I, again, I don't know quite as much about the high growth products, but I would say when it comes to Santa Barbara, if I was a bank that was named American Riviera Bank, I'd be very annoyed. Uh, Terry Daughtery said, I just heard on another podcast, Montesquieu is referred to as American Riviera. I hate the name, but it makes more sense. Do you think the palace will try to stop the use of Sussex? Now they might, they might, but again, I understand that she did it to sort of reference Santa Barbara, but is she like going to have a Santa Barbara store? Like it just, again, it's almost too self-referential in a way is it's just, it's just not a good, it's just not a good name. It's just simply not. Shaz, good afternoon from Motherwell, Scotland, Lizzie B. The live light is off, Miss Brittany. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Let's see. We'll make it pink today. <laughs> Gina B, I have an idea for the brand name American um, brand name. Maybe American Riviera is the umbrella name in the last word denounce the section. So orchard is for kitchen stuff. Maybe home would be bedding and furniture. I mean, it could, but still you run into the the issue of I think that um that it's unclear. Like American Riviera, if people search for that, it comes up with other things. You know, like a bank, like a jewelry line, like they, you should not have that issue. Again, that's poor, poor branding practices. Jamie Rowland says, good morning from Virginia. Nana says, Brittany, turn on your lay on light. Yes, thank you. Harry talked from a ski resort. <laughs> uh, that's still, mm, that's still weird. And I guess Megan went to the ski resort on her own. I don't know. Mexico, Cataleco says, good morning and blessings to all from, the, from Monterey, Mexico. Thank you. Mary says, good morning from Southern California. Novak, um, hello from beautiful Budapest, Hungary. Uh, Stacey says, hi, Brittany from Detroit, listening to your work grooming dogs. I hope you're doing well. Oh, thank you. I had Pippa groomed this week. She looked super cute. Uh, Tanya Green said, good morning from sunny New England. K Coffee says, I think Orchard is in the name because she will be making the jam she will be selling. Yeah, but like, how do you? Again, this is not the best thing. It's just it so weird. It's just such bad, poor decision. And she's trying to be Joanna Gaines and she does need like a large amount of property, which she probably can't get for cheap in Santa Monica or sorry, Santa Barbara and Montecito. And so it's just, what? It, it's. It doesn't make any sense. Raf, Rafaela hugs from Italy. Hello. We have Susanna. Hi, Brittany. Love your all royal info. Why, thank you. Butter Bugs Baked Good says, good morning, y'all from Asheville, NC. Hope y'all have a great day. Why, thank you. Vanessa says, hello from Dallas, one of our members. We have Ruth. Good morning from Kalamazoo, Michigan. Hi. We have uh, Lucy. Good morning from Canada. We have KL. Good morning, Miss Pippa. 
Uh, we have Sarah. Good morning from Louisiana. Pinky J. Good morning from Thunder Bay, Ontario. Oh, I like the name Thunder Bay. Sounds special. Uh, Pebble says 4 a.m. in Hawaii. Hello. Thank you for getting up so early. I had to think about it. I was like, who? My parents have a timeshare in Hawaii and we've gone, you know, several times. And I'm like, oh, I had my live stream. I had to get up at 4 a.m. Can I do it? Well, if other people can do it, I guess I can do it. <laughs> Not planning on going anytime soon, but Becky says, I want to see her pressure cookie and nation jars for all her jam making. Yeah, that will be interesting if that's the case. Ritz says she's getting more brazen with her antics. And as long as there are enablers, yeah, she's not going to get any better. And I've said this too. It's like, I feel like Charles or other Royals or maybe the staff is just finally waiting for her to like get better and care. It's like, she doesn't care. She will never, ever care about your thoughts and feelings, what you want to do. She won't ever care. So you should just do what you want to do and let her stew because she ain't going to give you the same consideration. Margaret Morris says, good afternoon from Worcester, uh, Worcester, UK. We have loquacious Baronin. Good morning from, from Florida to Brittany. Good morning. Yeah, Joanna, one of our members. Good morning from Virginia. Finally catching you live. Awesome. We have Duels. Uh, good morning from Chile. Hello. We have loquacious Baron watching while I braid my hair into twists two hours. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That sounds like a wow. Relika, why is it just called launching a brand when she has no real existing products content to show and sell just blurry video? Was she wearing a bell gown to do with allegedly selling jams and home goods? No idea. And here's the thing too. We only know about the jams and home goods and stuff like that because of the trademark filings. No other reason. She has told us nothing about the brand from that video or her launch. That's so like, she's a, like trying to launch a brand without telling us anything about it. And we have to do extra research to find that out. You shouldn't have to do that. <laughs> you should not have to do that. It's just, oh. Uh, Ella says American Riviera actually sounds good. Would be cool for beach clothes. The orchard part sounds ridiculous. Yes. And again, to, I, I, again, I come back to the idea that you, you want your brand to stand out and you want your brand to be Interesting. And she has already competition of other people that use part of that same brand name. You know, I, I use Royal News Network, you know, because it's kind of a reaction to CNN cable news network. But like at least my news and network are sort of generic. Um, so it's just not that bad. <laughs> oh, we have Siba. If one person is sick from her jam, she'll be done. Yes. Jam, you run a risk and stuff. And I was just like, how much are you going to produce? Like, are these just going to be available in specialty stores and Trader Joe's, Whole Foods? Like what? It's just weird. Uh, Robin DL says, member for five months. Oh, I love your channel. Logo looks like HRH stacked. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. I guess I should technically move my water bottle. But I have it here just in case, you know, you get the fits of the cough or something and you need a water bottle. I mean, I still have my hot chocolate, but water's good too. Uh, Shelly says, uh, thank you so much for the tip. Hi, I think the, the Meg is using the name Orchard to try to emulate Highgrove House and Gardens, Tetbury, England, saying she is royal. Yeah, but she, you know, she's also using American. It's just like, we don't know enough really about what the brand is going to entail to sort of make some of these conclusions. But it's also, again, a reflection of how bad the brand launch is. You should always be clear what you what the the audience should know what to expect and she has not done that and again horrifically horrifically bad planning on her part and the, the her team hannah says page six to reporting casey is putting a succession plan in place what are your thoughts on that well you should always be prepared for the worst but but the succession plan is already in place because it's william so there should be no like an additional succession plan. And again, when it comes to Harry and Meghan, I would say page six probably has some better stuff. But when it comes to the most of the rest of the Royals, most of the American outlets are like totally clueless about what's going on um, behind the scenes. <laughs> oh, this is funny, though. I just pulled it up just because I just want to see. And it's, it's the title is and the, it's so different because it's so not the same thing at all. And so this is like the first article on the page. She can relate. Meghan Markle is likely conflicted over Meg or Kate Middleton's stress as Palace is exposed for being a disaster. <laughs> that is funny. So uh, maybe Markle must be having an I told you so moment. 
for how the palace handled the latest Kate Middleton bra- drama while also having sympathy for her sister-in-law, a royal expert sus- um, suspects. This is from Christopher Anderson, who I don't put a lot of stock in. And the answer to that is no. They're totally different situations. Totally different situations. That's up, up here. Um, this sort of things annoys me. But yeah, totally different situations. Catherine's really is a PR failure. Megan was the failure in the royal system. That's that's the thing. So it's a Megan issue versus a just top down issue within the palace. So uh, GM D. Hire Grief says hello from Yorkshire Dales. Hello. We have Gorgon's Girl. Does Sarah use her title when selling her books? I think she does. I think she does. Angela says, good morning from Spring, Texas. And Esther Smith says, good morning from Aberdeen, Texas. It's cold and raining. I'm drinking peppermint hot cocoa. Nice. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Oh, is it tomorrow? Must be tomorrow. I said, hello, St. Patrick's Day today. Uh, KL says, why does her video represent a 1950s housewife? Because she still thinks it's the 1950s. Like, based on what she talks about, you would still think it's like the 1950s, which it's not. It's not. Uh, Surin says, someone... T- did it clear up on the kitchen part? And it's not her. That's why it is blurred. That would be funny. Uh, Raphael says Riviera Orchard or Ostrich. Would have said better. Uh, Natasha says, good morning, Brittany. Love from Whitney, Ontario, Canada. Yay. I got to love. I got you love this week. Oh, why? Thank you. Yeah. Cheryl Tin from Oklahoma. Good morning, Brittany and Miss Pippa working on my children's homeschool Bible lessons while watching this show. I have my tea at the ready. Oh, so glad. All right, we have Alejandra. Good morning from snowy Colorado. First live, t- I catch live. Awesome. Deborah says, someone pointed out that the logo actually has HRH in it. Check it out. And that wouldn't be a surprise. Again, it's the, the hard thing is that logo is so hard to see that you can't, you see different things, which again, is bad business practice. It's really, really bad business practice. Uh, DP says, greeting Richard Brittany from the great state of Pennsylvania. Looking forward to hearing your take on American Riviera Orchard. And he thought the name Archwell was bad. Yeah, I thought that was bad. This is just as bad, if not worse. Uh, it's just so incredibly, incredibly bad. Like, I mean, seriously, 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 so bad. So, so bad. <laughs> uh, Rebecca says, good morning from Mooresville, North Carolina. Andrea Royd says the Hype Grove website is pale green. So, so, so similar. <laughs> Steven says the smash bug is a good description. Uh, logo looks like she let the kids scrabble. <laughs> logo looks like a snake pit. <laughs> Megan's ARO, another ripoff. Uh, Joe says, hi from Yorkshire, England. It looks like Bob's. <laughs> Smushed cockroach, Tanya said. Um, Ms. HD hiding HRH. Babette says a bee wearing a crown tangled up in string. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep. All, all true. All true. All right. We have Tracy. Thank you so much for the tip this morning, Tracy. All right. And we have Shelly here. I think I missed this one. Hi. Oh, no. I think I did get this one. Thing she's royal. Yes. Sharon says, uh, sends a super sticker. Thank you so much. We have Steven and Matt Mama Knows Best LLC, registered Delaware. This company is set up by Megan to use American Riviera Orchard as its brand. Yes. And Mama's Knows Best. Again, that does nothing to dissuade people from concluding, which I think is accurate, is that Megan totally rules the Sussex roof, Sussex roost. And she definitely, definitely, I think a hundred percent, um, you know, I feel sorry for the kids in a lot of ways in this situation, but mama's knows best is just something there. It's like, it just feels so cliche. And so like what we've heard before is that she makes basically every decision in that house. It's always, it's not mama's knows best. It's Megan knows best. And you better not ever, ever like she'll give Harry props from time to time, but really she's all about. Yeah, ruling. We have KL says she's a avowed feminist and yet her video promotes old school values. So she's selling a lifestyle she does not embrace. Yes, 100% yes. 
We also have Becky Spurgeon. I'm visiting Singer, Florida, which is on the Riviera Beach. Ooh, I think Megan could have done a lot better with her name and not use Riviera. It's too common. I love your suggestion with the flower. Why, thank you. Yes. And like you can, I, it's on my phone because I'll have to look. What is it called again? Just show you guys a picture just so you can get an idea of what it looks like. Um, so it's cluster it's like so easy i'm like and how did i like just put in like looking for flowers and i came up with this see aren't those pretty you can make it like again and you can make the flower the logo around the flower and her her childhood nickname was flower i mean goodness gracious is me guys i'm not even a marketing expert and i can come up with better stuff than she can like a, a riviera is just too to discuss like too well known and it's just like she can't differentiate it and make it her own really because that's what you want to do with a brand is really make it your own and she didn't but yeah it's it's called like a bro brodia brodea bro, ah, it pronounced it for me and so yeah i thought that was kind of cool and you can again use the purple and your logo and in your in your color palette for your your um brand and stuff Again, so, so simple. Oh, and Terry, thank you so much. One of our members for your super sticker as well. I appreciate it. Uh, we have Rafaela. The logo is very weak, confused, and problematic to use in many settings. Yes, it is. It is just, again, just if, if everybody is reading into it different things, then... <laughs> I think you got a problem. Because uh, if you think Target, Target's logo is very simple. It's a Target. Uh, Apple's logo is very simple. It is an Apple. Uh, Tesla's is unique, but you know it looks like a T for Tesla. It makes sense. Um, this does not make sense. Vanessa says, "I agree. It looks like a bug. It does. It does." Uh, Sylvia says, "Hello from South Korea. I think the logo looks like children scribbled on a napkin." <laughs> oh, that's good. I'll have to go back through and try to remember all these. Uh, Mary says the logo doesn't re doesn't register to me as anything. Yeah, that's hundred percent right. Uh, someone pointed out, she says someone pointed out a good point to this new insta. It's called American Riviera, and then she's using the British title as her name. How hypocritical is that? Yes, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, we have Terry. Good morning from Dallas. We have Ritz. I want to see the beige one cooking like barefoot Contessa. I wonder if she will use good olive oil. We shall see. Betty, uh, Betty says, good morning from Oklahoma. <laughs> Vicky says, it's in the shape of her nose. Uh, Be Pebbles says, a two-year-old scribble. Maggie Raynor says, it looks like an upside-down gargoyle, something with horns. Makes me on the easy to look. <laughs> uh, Anne says, the Mother's Day photo was taken on Mother's Day. Louis lost a tooth and Charlotte's um, two teeth grew. Yeah, I just, I think it was taken recently. But yeah, Catherine just wanted to make the family look the best and it just didn't it just work out. Mary says it could be a bee wearing a cowboy hat. <laughs> uh, Gorgon's girl said, I really thought her count, follower count would be higher. Yeah. And apparently too, somebody pulled out a, a tweet of one of her more sycophantic fans on Twitter. He said, oh, it'll be a million by 24 hours. And it's not even half that. And it's almost 48 now. It's pretty bad. Pretty bad for the amount. I mean, you can just see 100% the brand damage. The brand damage is 100% apparent. And she might have had more followers too if she had done a better brand launch and we knew what she was doing. But again, that's her inability to do things in the way. Alejandra said, did she make the logo herself? Doesn't make sense. Yes, I believe she probably did. I believe we'll probably get a long explanation of what every little squiggle line means. But I think any good brand expert would look at her and go, you should have had somebody else do that, honey. This just doesn't look very good. Or give them your baseline idea. We would have made it better. Uh, Water says, I heard the site breaks royal protocol in many ways and royals can step in. Well, I don't know if they can step in. I think people give the royal family too much credit. But yes, I do think she's in breach of the agreement that they made with the queen, which supposedly she doesn't think matters anymore. And I think it's entirely possible that the palace can perhaps at some point go in and change what is going on and well, not really change, but adjust the titles. I think the title situation, the titles need to go because how silly will she look 
when she goes in and all of a sudden she's not the Duchess of Sussex anymore. The best she can use is the Countess of Dumbarton. You bet your bottom dollar she will not want to use that. Chateau Paper Art says, does the RF finally do something to stop them from using their tiles to make money? You know, remains to be seen, obviously, with Charles sick, Catherine sick. And then we've had this epic train wreck with the with the picture. You know, it's obviously not high up on their list, but they, they do have problems. And the thing is, again, this goes back to the pals sort of being somewhat complacent and arrogant, is that they needed to address the Harry and Meghan thing so much sooner than now. Like, they just keep kicking the can down the road. And I don't know what they're expecting, but man alive, it's like you guys got to buck up at some point and just like deal with this because this ain't going to get any better. P Pacific says logo spinograph from our childhood. Yeah, that's, that works too. Lady Odd from England. Hello. Esther says, and Malcolm says, uh, Archie drew it. <laughs> Robert Brown says, knowing Emma was probably a rush job, like all her crinkled clothing and badly tailored outfits. Yeah. Oh, I love this. Laner says, I'm Italian, so I think it looks like I played a spaghetti. <laughs> Andrea says, a rush job to get it out before Prince William's dedication to Diana. Well, I think it was bigger than that. I think she wanted to capitalize on all the royal fuss going on with Catherine and everything. I think that was more it. But yes, she could have picked a better time. Spring Burve says, though I can't find anything to like about the logo, I would be supportive of her if she weren't such a terrible and evil destroyer of everything and everyone who showed her any kindness. Yeah, she kind of, I mean, it's sad, but I think she does promote something where people root against her rather than for her. And I blame Megan for that. She's sort of the one who set that up. She's sort of the one who started that. And so it's just at this point, she just, it's something she can't avoid. She can't avoid. And it's just going to get worse and worse. Julie says, uh, I think the logo looks like a praying mantis. True. Allison, uh, hi from NYC, where I am ringing this, the shame bell in her honor, as usual. <laughs> Ashley Joe says, I can see what she did with it. A script A-R-O, and the O is made up from the top of the R. But if you look at it at a glance, you see the H with the crown shape, and you squint, you see an M. Yeah, it's like, again, bad design, bad design. Jody says, I'm building a business to start in 2025, and my website is up. My logo is created and about to go on the site, and I'm starting content for a business that's going live in a year. Yes, great, great. That is a great thing to do, Jody. That's how you should do it. I think I started sometimes my stuff a little bit too early, but um, yeah, you gotta you gotta work hard and you gotta have a good foundation and good logo. And I I literally think they started this maybe at the beginning of the year or something. I mean, they've been talking about this for a long time. But I think it goes back with what we've seen time and time again that Megan's not great at. I don't think both communicating and then demanding too much, and then everything goes off the rails. All right, and we have Lullaby. Oh, thank you so much for becoming a YouTube member this morning. I like your little your little logo thing is cute. And so we have the loquacious Baron. I think it, it would be good and very beneficial if one of Megan's fans sent her this video because you do a very respectful and practical review of her logo and branding. Why, thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I try to be very respectful and kind and not too mean, but just, again... If she had sent it to like any marketing expert, they would have said, no, please don't do that. <laughs> I would love, because I mean, I think people are still somewhat hesitant, especially in certain spheres to criticize her, but I'd love to see how they dissect this, this logo in like five to 10 years, like in a classroom or something or on Forbes talking about how terrible this was. Uh, Jane says, good morning. Oh, Jane Kelly. Good morning. Just joining now. Oh, thank you so much, Jane. She was one of my earliest followers. So thank you, Jane. And we have Kat Megan reacting, reacted to negative comments on one of her stories and later deleted it. Did you get to see it? I thought that was very interesting. Oh, I didn't see that. I didn't see that. But yeah, she is very sensitive. She does not like criticism. That's why she wants to take off this channel or any other channel that criticizes her. And I think I'm one of the more moderates when it comes to criticism, but she wants to take down anybody who's not glowingly positive about her. And I think Dan Wooten goes through this. And I think it's kind of interesting to consider that they really, Harry and Megan really did kind of found or have this plan to sort of go after reporters that were negative about her. And it's like, 
but that's just it's sort of mafia tactics and it's like you can't if you go into the public space and i realized this and i was really nervous when i started this channel because i was still working for another business and stuff like that is that i didn't want what i was doing to reflect negatively on the company and i worked for it. and so i'm so glad i went full-time and my channel i mean it was still very big but especially my twitter presence really sort of blew up after i left my job because i i don't want anything that I'm doing to reflect badly, because I understand that when you walk into the public space, you run the risk of people not liking you. That's just, that's just part of that world. But Megan just doesn't want to accept that. And she was so small fried that there weren't any negative stories about her because nobody cared enough to double check her stories, what she said, or even cover her to begin with. And so I think she definitely was I don't, I want to say arrogant, but very just like deluded about what would happen when she hit this level. And she just thought everything would be hunky dory and nobody would say anything. And she would just be perfect and jumping on rainbows and walking through the park or something. I don't know. And that's just not the reality of the situation. <laughs> it's not the reality of the situation. So my goodness, we have Fran fantastic. Thank you so much for the tip. Do you think Megs is behind the Rose rumors? Didn't Giles Corn admit he made it up? I hear there's a BOGO sale. Megan's marmalade will be sold along with Harry's Elizabeth Arshin Dodger. <laughs> oh, that's still like the, I still can't believe he put that in a book. I would never, well, I'm a woman too, but I would never, ever put anything like that personal in a book. <laughs> and if you put something that personal in, I feel like it should be helpful to people. Like, I, you know, you share a story maybe about a miscarriage or, you know, a pregnancy or something like that. Something that could be very personal, very transparent in order to help people. But Harry's thing, all it taught, all I thought was, so you, you, you had this cream that your mother had and the smell as you're wiping it on yourself reminded you of your dead mother. <laughs> Why would you tell us this? Why would you tell us? I'm like, oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yes. And yes, um, Giles did. Somebody actually found the receipts for that, which I really appreciated. Found the receipts that said, basically it's like, I made this up, guys. And again, I go back to Rose's son was on the stinking balcony with the whole family during the coronation. During the coronation, her son was up there on that balcony because he was one of Charles's page boys. Now, if this rumor had any credence, he wouldn't be up there. <laughs> this is not the 1700s where you sort of had to just take your lumps and stuff like that. That it just would not happen. And so, and I just think it's so cruel and ugly of the media to drag Rose and her family through the mud for no stinking reason. And I think the if if it's possible, the guy who started it, Giles. Like, if they could sue him, they should sue the heck out of him. And again, it goes back to, too, I think, this whole thing of, I think the palace should have figured out how to, yes, you should ignore it to a certain extent. I understand the ignoring policy, because I've done that before, too, because sometimes, you know, either I, I post a, an opinion piece that not everybody likes, and at some point I was like, okay, I just have to ignore it, and it'll go away. But I think the palace made mistakes in, not addressing this particular rumor and just coming out and saying, we will, anybody who goes with this, we will sue the heck out of, along with Rose and her husband, we will sue the heck out of you. And that might've put a stop to things, especially if they could provide a united front on this issue. I think it sort of started because somebody reported that Rose and Catherine had a falling out and this developed into people reading into it. Again, you you have to look at what happened to Catherine. And this was before TikTok. So everything's just with TikTok becomes magnified. And so now with Catherine, it's like, well, you know, she's going to be gone for a while. And then all of a sudden the rumors start and they just get worse and worse. But I think the timeline is so condensed anymore that it just became a ridiculous. Stephanie P said, uh, become a YouTube member. Why? Thank you. Shaz says, you plus using her title to make money is against the Sandringham Summit. And she thinks she can use Sarah using the titles, but Sarah was told she couldn't use them to make money, whereas Megan was. I think Sarah uses still uses the title quite a bit. But <laughs> Red says, I wonder what kind of warehouse her products will be stored in, who her suppliers are, and what her fulfillment process is like. Yes, we don't have any indications about any of this stuff, which is just weird, in my opinion. Lucretius Barron says, may God bless you, Brittany, and your close family. Wishing you the best from Christ, in Christ. From Florida, U.S. Why, thank you. 
Cheryl Tin from Oklahoma says, given Megan's penchant for horrible wardrobe choices, I'm sure she was advised against the logo design, but ignored the expert. I think that's 100% what happened. I mean, honestly, if I was WME, I would just have dropped her at this point because it's like, if you can't do the most basic things. Rose, hi, Rosie. Hi, Brittany. Do you think, what do you think about Megan using Duchess Sussex title in on her Instagram account. I understand why she uses it. It's all she has, but she was so been so much better if she had done like she did on archetypes and just go by Megan. But Megan can't stand on her own. And it's that's just cleared. When S says the American Riviera Orchard logo looks like a trunk clover <laughs> wrote it. Yeah. Lucretius Baron says all oh, that and that red blouse and lip color you had in your last video was amazing. Yeah. The lip color was Rose Official by Lisa Eldridge, which I think I put on this morning too. Just nice color. I like her stuff. She used to do videos for Chanel on their makeup, and I always really liked her. And she she calls your pimples spots. <laughs> I think she's very cute. All right. Uh, teacher Ray Samantha says, uh, become a YouTube member. Why, thank you. We have Mick Cinder G. Mick Cinder G became a YouTube member as well. Why, thank you so much. We have Rose, a city spy. Good morning, Brittany from Portland, Oregon. Hello. Pinky J says, Megan's logo is so bad, just very unprofessional. Yes. Yes, my logo is better. And I know some people were, uh, I had a couple of comments. Well, at least I think one talking about, I was like, one of them was like, well, why are you talking about yourself so much? And somebody's like, well, you know, don't be too boastful, Brittany. And it's not being boastful necessarily. I'm just showing you that when I created this brand, I tried to create a good logo because a good logo will help you go far. And it does help when you're creating a brand, if you don't have a good logo, it's just, it's just harder. I think. So. Okay. Meta eight says, is Megan so self-absorbed? She doesn't see she's a laughing stock when she is going to get out. No, I really think she thinks that everybody is just wrong and she's the most brilliant thing in, that ever existed in human existence. I think that's, I think that's the answer. Diz fan. Do you think we should we could see her line at stores like Target, TJ Maxx, and Walmart. <laughs> it rolls my eyes every time I walk by the display. It's entirely possible. Because again, it's like weird because the brand doesn't make sense because she's showing very like at home things. And then yet she's also showing us luxury. So I'm like, well, where where is this going to land? Where is this going to land? I don't know. Texas Sunshine said, I agree 100%. ARO was a rush job. The trademark hasn't been approved, but she put out something out no nonetheless. Yes. And I should have said that too dropping the the whole thing without getting the trademark approved was also a very dumb idea a very dumb idea like seriously very dumb idea uh you should have had the trademark because especially because it's it's a trademark that could be so contested because other th people and places use it that it's you run a high risk so uh abdullah's lifestyle said good morning from pennsylvania us yes uh, the end result, uh, da love Lee says the end result will be we never see family photos behind the scenes of the world. Yeah, I'm so, yeah, I think that could be the case. Uh, Andrew says they could simply give in to their team. I disagree with it being blunder. They own the copyright of their image, whatever format. It wasn't sold, but stolen and lifted on Instagram. No, I think if you're talking about Catherine and Williams, they do generally give it to for, give it to be distributed for free to major photo outlets like Getty images. And so usually I should have grabbed the image before, but I didn't. So Stacy says, good morning, afternoon, evening, everyone. I heard the dryer going to just means that laundry is getting done at Brittany's house. Yes. I didn't know it would be picked up that much. And I tried to, there's like little things I could do. And I got a noise dampener and put it on and I think it helped, but it didn't eliminate it. Uh, Hannah says, uh, Kenzie Schofield reported that Prince Charles and Prince William hired a PR person that was a Sussexes when they left. And that person just left in December. Uh, trying to think. Cause they did have, I'd have to look at their staff again to confirm that or not. Um, but they, they have lost people, but I think too, they just need somebody. And Carol says this too. They need somebody who's really, really tech savvy on their social media team, like really, really tech savvy and pushes them. Cause unfortunately when you have, when you are a person of a significant level of power and monarchy, you're a thousand year old monarchy. I think some people just don't push. They're like, yeah, you know, they, they push a smidge, but I think they need somebody who kind of 
has the permission to kind of get their butts in gear on this. Cause again, this, this blunder should not have happened. Rich says the RNM membership gift gifters are amazing. Thank you. It is so sweet. It is very sweet. Margaret says, I'm sure that we can do very well. This fan without the two from Montecito. Yes, definitely. A hundred percent. You guys, they don't need Harry and Megan at all. We have Jay Kearns it became a YouTube member. That's so awesome. Jay Kearns. Thank you. Oh, look, we just read. Hey, just nice. Just got love and art and membership. Next one, my finances improved. I'd be interested to get my own. Yes. And we have a couple of people. Sleepy Fox. Thank you so much for the membership gift. Gift I said gift. Uh, Stephanie Barrett says hi from Tanzania. Awesome. 1 a.m. here. I was waiting for you. Your still start is still already mid sentence and not first sentence. Please get rid of the problem with brief countdown. Yeah, I, I do need to get a countdown there at some point. Um, but I have other things I worry about as well. Meg, do you think there is a chance Catherine is pregnant? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think this was something, something different, but you know, we never know. Catherine, of course, can always come out and share with us exactly what happened. So we'll have to see. Um, Eveline says she just wanted to capitalize on the Diana awards. That's why she rushed to launch it. I don't think it, really even the Diana awards, cause that just doesn't get a huge amount of press coverage. I think she was highlighting and capitalizing on all of the focus on Catherine and the Royals right now. Uh, Maggie says, gotta bounce Brit and all have a great chat. Awesome. Niners girl said, good morning from the Bay area. Uh, Modern says, Megan is trying to be the new Joanna Gaines. She cannot come close to that. No, no, I just don't. I just don't think so. Do, Joanna Gaines has, I think Megan, again, she has some, you know, she can aesthetically make things look good. But I can really the level that Joanna Gaines is at and like the creativity and the innovation in some ways. And yes, Joanna Gaines is probably not doing anything that anybody else hasn't done before, but she was able to do it in a really great way. She had a really great eye for detail. She was designing homes and stuff before the show. And so Harry and Megan just don't even Megan doesn't have that. And she doesn't have that likability factor either. Jadish says, uh, didn't Megan say last week she wanted to stay away from social media? Has one market through a platform they stay away from? Yes. Yes, I put that up there too. I put that up there in my video because I was like, oh my gosh. Kay Meta says, if Princess Diana was alive, she would dump Megan on her too. Yeah. Um, I have no doubt that if Diana was still alive, Megan would not be in the picture. Diana would have hated Megan. And part of it is because I think they, they share some of the worst qualities of themselves in common. And so I just think they would have been like water and oil and just would have been combustive. And Harry's just alluded if he thinks his mother would have been, you know, he called them, they would have been thick as thieves. I was like, no, Harry, no. <laughs> hey, Williamson, one of our members said, good morning. Stacy, the below average turtle says she can't stand the intense light from Marco Stewart's porch light. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. Uh, Ayn says, and says, hello, Brittany. I feel like she launched it way before it was ready to call the princess Catherine support by the people logo can be seen to have, um, her Royal majesty H um, H R M or H R H. Yeah. I mean, again, I think she saw all the fuss and was like, oh, this is a perfect time, but it's again, good launches happen when they're ready. You, rushing it is probably not a good idea. I, again, I sometimes wish I had a whole month of videos ready, prepared and edited before I went live. And so, cause I still feel like constantly, I'm like, ah, don't have enough time to never have enough time. Uh, Allison says it's irritates me that she got us talking about it, bringing more attention to it, but it's still going to fail no matter what her PR does. Again, it remains to be seen. It could come up with some great stuff. But again, it's just, it's not catchy. I think she's going to have a hard time. And I think already seeing only, less than 500,000 followers and almost 48 hours is pretty bad compared to she and Harry got 2.6 million in 24 hours. So again, she's trending way behind her and Harry just a couple of years ago. Oh, uh, we have Peggy who has been a member for seven months. Simplicity is best. Your name and logo are perfect. Brittany. Why? Thank you. I thank you. I worked. Well, I didn't, I think it came to me pretty easily i would say but yeah i i came up with the idea i came up with the um logo and look and i thought it worked and i actually asked a um you know i don't think my dad and i have talked about too much but there was a family friend and he's a really really good business guy and he 
was looking at it too and said, yeah, I wouldn't change anything about it. It was like, did I do good? He's like, yeah, this was good. <laughs> Donna Webster says, um, become a YouTube member. Why? Thank you, Donna. Uh, Mimi sa Mima says, what or where is the American Riviera? It depends. Santa Barbara has been called it. Apparently there's also places in Florida that are called it. And I think a beach, somebody said. So yeah, it is not great. Oakley says she's trying to be like Joanna Gaines is Magnolia. Yes. KL says not even 500,000 subs followers. No. <laughs> I, Brittany, Leslie Flores, I get a Tommy Bahama vibe from the name. That's not a good thing. <laughs> yeah. my Although I will say my dad loves Tommy Bahama. He has like his birthday or anything or Christmas. He always gets something from Tommy Bahama. <laughs> uh, Brittany, light your title board. Yes. So me. I got Lynn again. I got like so many colors. I can we can change the color now. Let's do the dark pink. What's with the widow's walk walking off in the distance? Didn't she need to wear like a black drac <laughs> Drusilla skirt again? Yeah, you would think it gets so is it would have been so easy to do something so totally fun and different. Well, not different, but like in a sundress like walking out on the veranda or something in like casual like casual fun or something that would have been so much better than sitting out there in a five thousand dollar gown good vibe says real news network uh, camilla did a brilliant talk on women's empowerment the suffrage movement and how buckingham palace has tune throws stones throw by women fighting for women's empowerment those stones are yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh whoop whoop from jessica j good morning from montana good morning alice says did you see zara at chatlam she looks i think she's turned into one of the best dressed members of the brf yes yes she has definitely for sure a hundred percent a hundred percent a hundred percent um she did great uh, she has a stylist now and it shows missy lulu says goop gwyneth has a youtube channel such good quality video productions last video she posted she interviews michelle yo on family and marriage etc yeah i think i think goop again you could say what you want about it the name's good i think it has good branding and it looks it's it's a well-oiled machine and it works yeah Catherine neal says do you think meg american Riviera bank can challenge may mark uh, megan's trademark I, they might be able to and they might want to uh, adopt GDX. I was sort of freaked out and sad about the situation with the photo at first, but I agree. They should have done some sort of live video to solve this. Yeah. They should have done something again. I think they, it, it's a mix. You want to sort of ignore the crazies, but this is at this point, the news media has also become the crazies and that's a problem. Awesome. Diva goddess says, good morning, Brittany. Glad to catch you. Catherine has given a clue what she's trying to manage now her health as it may be. She is pregnant. All the clues are there. What do you think? I don't think so. I think if it was a pregnancy related something, they may have, they may have, they may have said something. And Natalie Lashley says, guys, I'm starting to get uneasy about what's going on with Catherine. I was like everyone else and just said, leave her known, but now dates are being pushed back and being removed from events. Yeah, I think what surprised me was the trooping event that she was removed from in June. Cause I feel like by June she should be good. And so I was like, why are we removing her from that date? Uh, it didn't make a ton of sense to me. And Joy Day says, arrogance, shame, Brittany. I think it's true. I think arrogance and complacency can definitely take a toll, especially on big institutions. So I want to be, I, I always try to be, I always try to be clear. I'm definitely not somebody who's never not, I, I like to be an equal opportunity critic because I feel like that's more authentic. Uh, Pat Lane says, good morning from very snowy Colorado. I look forward to your Saturday morning post. Why, thank you. Mark says, it's being reported. Kate will be stepping back from royal duties reported here in the UK yesterday. It just keeps getting a stranger. I hope not. I don't remember seeing that specifically, but I think if she doesn't show up for Easter, like Easter is the e lowest hanging fruit of the whole thing. And it's, and it's just like two weeks away. She should definitely do that. I think Neely says, good morning, Brittany, Miss Pippa, and everyone sending good wishes to Catherine. Stephanie Fez says, I feel like what happened to after what happened to his mother, William, is so protective and more everyone pushes for access, the more he'll dig his heel is to preserve Catherine and his family's privacy. Yes, but unfortunately in the world he lives in, that's just not that's just not always possible. This is not always possible. Unfortunately. Allegedly, there's a company called ARO. 
That could entirely be true. Again, doesn't doesn't surprise me. Uh, Tiny Black says, the Parliament strip titles without the King's blessing? Harry and Meghan definitely need, needs them stripped. Maybe it'll give them an awakening. Yeah, I think... I feel like they really, though, would want the palace's permission or support, even if it's silent, to do it, in my personal opinion. Let's see. I saw... Ah, Catherine and William should look to Norway and how the royal family is dealing with Matt Marit's situation. Yeah, she has uh, chronic pulmonary fibrosis, which means her lungs will get her um, harder to breathe and stuff. And so she does a slow number of engagements, um, but she's always never been. Norwegians are pretty laid back and probably could do more. <laughs> but again, they also have a much smaller country, a much smaller population. So again, very different than the Brits. I know some people like to compare and Say, well, so-and-so doesn't do that much. Yeah, but their population of their country is like 9 million. The population of Britain, I mean, this was years ago now, is probably pushing between 60 and 70 million, maybe 80. Uh, and then you have the addition of the Commonwealth nations, which pushes the number way up into the billions. So it's just a very, very different amount of people that they have to they have to agree and meet and stuff. And when it comes to Europe, I know, I think, and this was years ago now, so excuse me, but... It used to be that Germany was the highest populated country, followed by Italy, and third was the UK, I believe. So, uh, Eva, uh, La, v La Kiva says, Kate will be ready because the media has just gotten started on her, in my opinion. Yeah, she's just, I don't, I think she'll be fine, but I think, again, it'll be a struggle. Do you think it's a reference to Kate, Grace Kelly since Montico is on? No, I don't think so. The French Riviera? No. Because then you should do French Riviera. Again, the whole thing just doesn't make a ton of sense. It's it's a reference to Santa Monk or Santa Barbara, but uh, Julia says greetings from Germany, Deutschland. Guten Tag. Tori says the sugars are full force now over the picture. The rumors of Prince William cheating going full force. Yes. And again, I think to it's it's just it's just gone totally crazy. It's just gone totally crazy. Do you buy Wittards in the U.S. or is it on Amazon? I buy it directly from Wittard of Chelsea on their website. I did buy it once because they had it. At, I was surprised at like Neiman Marcus or something, and I was like, oh, I didn't know that. And I thought maybe it would be better quality, but it was kind of hard when I got it. And when you get it directly from Wittard of Chelsea in the U.K., like the mixture is very soft and it's better, I think. Not that it was totally bad, but I think it's fresher. KL says maybe maybe she threw that Netflix cooking show out there in the University of Manifest it, hoping Netflix would jump on board. I mean, it's a cheap thing to do. It's a cheap thing to do. Um, so yeah. So uh second row says P Dina has Catherine's pictures yesterday. I wonder which pictures. Oh, Catherine As Asma is missing this morning. I believe she is. Oh, oh, people saying bless you. I thank you. We have here. I believe we have the Netherlands and maybe we have UK. Don't know what the other flag might be. But yes, hello. Hi, Brittany. David says, love to Miss Pippa from my little flossy in England. Bless you twice. Why, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's becoming like, um, like sneezing season. <laughs> did Meghan Markle launch a brand or a phishing site collecting emails and nothing for sale e-business uh, 101 fail yes and again I, I stand up for the email just because I wanted to see what the welcome email stated there is no welcome email <laughs> why is there no welcome email there should be a welcome email again what is going on Ugh. what is going on Oh, Jay Wright. Good morning, Miss Brittany. Need to light up the sign behind you. It's pretty when it's on. Great job as always. Thank you for watching every Saturday. Yes, I need to get my shelving unit all fixed out and everything. <laughs> Why does she call it Nigerian Riviera Orchard? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We have Philippa. Hi, Brittany from Wirral, UK. Tori, can you explain, Brittany, how the world make money and it's not from the taxpayers? It's not. There's obviously the sovereign grant, which is I say funded, but part a minuscule amount of taxpayer dollars go into that. And that is to facilitate state events like state visits, international tours, those sorts of things, and staff 
salaries and the upkeep basically of the palaces that are owned by the state. When it comes to the royal family, their personal expenditures, and some of this includes clothes, although I think clothing budget can come out of at least partially the sovereign grant, but when it comes to all their personal expenses, it's met by the Duchy of Lancaster and the Duchy of Cornwall. Those are the two duchies that fund basically the family. And so those two duchies are obviously make a decent amount, although the Duchy of Cornwall is worth more than the Duchy of Lancaster. Obviously, you had the House of Lancaster way back in the day, you know, the War of the Roses and everything. So this, these have very historic connections. And I know somebody said recently that, oh, William should sell the Duchy of Cornwall. I was like, no, because then you guys would go on and on about how he's taking money from the state. And other, like, <laughs> they need to make money some way because other royal families are paid for essentially directly by the state. Uh, some families are not like the Dutch have a huge stake in Dutch royal oil. So they make a lot of money from the oil industry. I think the Danes are pretty much funded by the taxpayers. I think they have a couple of other ways out of that, but a good portion of it is via government funds. Uh, Swedes, I think, is sort of the same way. Norwegians, they have the benefit of the oil industry as well. Spain, I think taxpayers and obviously the king as well did a lot, the former king, I should say, did a lot of hanky panky when it came to his finances. And so he has a lot of money somewhere. So, yeah. <laughs> Mel says what uh, um, I think uh, Mademoiselle, I think, is Millie says or something. What it strikes me about this brand is that it's quite traditionally female. It is. It is. And again, she makes all this fuss about stuff and living, you know, oh, we need to adjust and not live in the, uh, we, we need women's empowerment. And yes, she does something very anti that. Russell says, I went to college in Santa Barbara. It has not long been known as the American Riviera. What I don't get is orchard. But if she can make a living doing this instead of whining, I'm all for it. I'm all for it too, but she needs to drop the title. If she can drop the title, do whatever you want. But you need to drop the title. Stop riffing off the royal stuff. Then, then. Then I think we are in a better spot. Okay. Let's keep going. Uh, Swims with Wales says the institution has been showing its age for a long time. A house divided cannot stand. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I agree. I, I think that's, I don't, it's, it's it's sad to see it happening, but yeah, it's, it's really showing its age. And again, I think it it's, makes a good argument for voluntary abdication in the future. I don't think Charles will do it, but I think when it comes to William and George, I think that would be a good thing because I think it keeps the institution young and I think it keeps it innovating because I think Elizabeth, she was so well respected that, you know, nobody really wanted to ever tell her no just because they respected her too much to not and they didn't want to do that. I think we're seeing the effects and the limits of not making other decisions. Uh, Joy says he has a bigger problem than their president than to worry about the monarchy and Catherine. Uh, Milla says also she's using Riviera as French Riviera, Italian Riviera. Sorry, never heard of the American Riviera. Apparently it's what they call Santa Barbara in some places in Florida. So stealing other people's names <laughs> uh gretchen says she is trying to copy magnolia and joanna Gaines. if you watch fixer up her the magnolia name has a personal backstory what the hell give markle's backstory yeah i mean again yeah there's a personal connection there and something that you would want and it, it just again goes back to that megan just seems always to take from other people. She just doesn't seem to have like a good thing. I mean, her thing with the TIG, it was so bad. The name was so bad. You know, I, I had a sip of this wine and I had an epiphany and it's a TIG moment it was like literally her catchphrase thing. And I'm like, that's so lame. <laughs> that's so lame. It's just, yeah, it's sad. And McCinder G's, does she really think anyone is going to believe Megan makes her own jams? Yeah, it'll be interesting to see. It'll be interesting to see what happens with that. Um, oh, I just heard my baby. 
She, I think she's stuck on the, the bed. So I may need to go rescue her. Um, Laura, Linda says, how do you deal with the sugars? I posted a rhetorical question on another channel was attacked by several sugars. So at least on Twitter, I don't always see negative comments here on YouTube because there's just so many. I can't, I can't really manage them, but it's, I, I just try to, I block and I ignore. There's just the only way to do it. I sometimes hide their comments too, especially if they're especially nasty. It's like, you just don't need to be doing that. You don't need to be on there. So I hid them and yeah, we go, we go from there. So that's just the best I can do really. Um, and it's just unfortunate. It's just unfortunate. And it's like, and people are just very, I'm sorry. People are very set in their ways or don't want to hear like, you know, genuine questions or stuff. And you get some people who are like that, but there was this one girl for a while and I let her continue to, to comment. And she just, after a while, I was like, you're just annoying me. So I'm just going to block you. Like what you're saying isn't terrible, but it's just like, you know, you go on and on. It's like, oh, you attack Megan and you're not looking at this thing with Catherine. And, oh, you're talk calling that out, but you won't call out Megan stuff. It's like, but they're not the same thing. And I can't beat a dead horse and I can't get you to believe me. So I'm just I'm like, you know, what? just forget it. Uh, Steven says, how mad is Megan? Can Queen Mila is a Barbie doll. I would imagine she would be very mad that Queen Camilla has a Barbie doll, which I thought was very cool. And then I didn't realize for a while that Queen Matilda of the Belgians was there. I didn't realize she was at Buckingham Palace for that event. So I just thought that was so funny. Starlight says, so now Megan is a full-time Instagram influencer. Reminds me of the South Park episode, Instagram loving wife. Yeah, she loves Instagram. She loves Instagram. <laughs> Starlight Media, so much for her not using social media. Yeah, like she said, 100%. Uh, awesome says the liberal mainstream media is trying to use the photo issue to create something that they can write about the delusional duchess joining forces with Catherine on a common issue, but it won't work. Yeah. Cause it's not a common issue. It's not the same thing that Megan really experienced. Cause a lot of Megan stuff was based in truth. Yes. There were some things that were inappropriate, but most of it was like when you buy a 75,000 pound engagement dress, yes, people are going to wonder who paid for that because they surely don't want it to be them for you to spend that much money on something so frivolous as a gown you wore in a photo shoot. Nobody wants that. <laughs> uh, Asma joined. Hi everyone. John Alvarez says Megan will end up changing the name too long. Yep. And it'll look stupid because she shouldn't have done it in the first place. We have um, Hacken Larsson. Hi from Stockholm, Sweden. I'm hoping to go to Sweden this year. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. I'm just like a little like. Huh. But I am pretty sure we can get that done. <laughs> Anyone remember the Dangled song, Mother Knows Best, sung by the villain? <laughs> yeah. When somebody mentioned that, I was like, oh, oh, poor Megan. Poor Megan. <laughs> yeah, this does not necessarily the best. P Pacific says the American part of the brand name is a big snub to British a shame. Yeah. And again, she looks hypocritical calling it British and then you know, using her British title and then calling it American again. It's just, and it's, it's also too a thing where it's almost like too generic. And so, oh, okay. I was like wondering what this thing was in the bottom of the screen right there. And this can be my computer. <laughs> NAA says, Brittany, they will steal your ideas. Probably, probably. <laughs> uh, I mean, they, they should, it's better than her ideas. <laughs> better than hers i feel i feel bad I, but honestly it's not a good it's not a good strategy it's not a good strategy um so pinky pie says beige website for a beige woman rf made her do it because they um they made her wear beige yeah and i i want to do again a whole video on that called the duchess of beige for the fashion channel and yeah talking about how she said she could only wear beige with the royals and somehow yet she's still wearing beige and dark colors and muted colors so what is it, Megan? Because it's obviously not the truth. <laughs> Annie Anonymous says, why launch and get publicity if products aren't ready to sell? You only get one launch and initial interest. Yes. Yes. You only do that. And then it's just like, what? what, what? Uh, it's crazy. Um, uh, Kyle says, Brittany, I love your channel. And would you rock one of your shirts? Anything for the guys? Maybe just RNN. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I need to rock one of my shirts, but I wanted to do green because I thought it was St. Patrick's Day, but I wasn't realizing that tomorrow. So, yeah. 
Uh, I live about 25 minutes from Buckingham Palace, Brittany. I know the Wooders shop near you there. Also check out the Dutchie afternoon tea available at Rate Rose. It's called, I call it Charlie tea. Oh, that's nice. Pinkie Pie says the media turned it into a bigger deal than necessary because they do not know about her medically. Yeah, I think that's part. I think it's sort of an addictive thing, to be quite honest. <laughs> Shaz says she's walking around uh, her staged house in a ball gown because that's what she's selling herself. Yeah, it's it's true. It's true. Calista Fell says, I think it was foolish. IG is getting followers so we can watch the car crash. It is. Yeah, it is going to be kind of funny, but it is it is so fascinating to see that it totally crashed like her, her, how badly her brand has been damaged since leaving the Royals five years later, they, she can't even get to a million followers in 24 hours. And yes, a million followers is huge. I get that, but she is one of the most, you could say almost well-known people on the planet right now. And she launches a brand and she can only get less than uh, like 400,000 people to follow in one day. Like that screams to me, a brand that is, not as healthy as you would like to think it is. <laughs> the palace is extremely weak when it comes to the Dumbartons. Yes, they just don't seem to know what to do. And it's just shockingly bad. Shockingly bad. Uh, Artisan Gaia says, Hi, Brittany. From, uh, hi, from London, England. Or Brittany, they took titles from Harry. They're not allowed to profit from the titles. Yes. But they're still going to do it. They're still going to do it. <laughs> what do you think her end game is? She just wants to make as much money as possible. And I don't think, here's the thing. I don't think she has a good end game. That's, that's the thing. I don't think she has one. Cause she, she hasn't even strategized well. Like she just wants to be, she, again, when I first, when she first came to public prominence connected to Harry, I immediately, she immediately struck me as a D list, C list actress, desperate for attention and fame and fortune. And she's still that. And I think she will always be that in a way, despite the heights she rises to, it can never be good enough. And because of that, she will be perpetually unhappy. So she will be somebody who reinvents herself a thousand times, most of them failing because she's just so stinking desperate for fame, tension and fortune. And for people to think she's so much more important and dignified and intelligent than she is in some ways, I think. Uh, Wildcat Wilma says, in Megan's mind, she's a duchess and should be enough to generate interest and subsequent anticipation. Success. Yes, I agree with that. And Gina B says, I believe all when uh, I believe all of this and when I see it, Megan Markle is allergic to work. She has a podcast to do, cooking shows, sell products. This will all impinge on her one hour a week of philanthropy. Yes. And she'll be, there'll be a lot of pressure. And again, at this point, they have to have something to succeed because at this point, they're running out of stuff. They're running out of stuff. Uh, you, Julie Ann Lewis says the, that Giles um, Corrin should be publicly publicly apologized for making up such rubbish. rubbish. Yes, he should come out and say, I made this whole thing up. He should just come out and say that. Uh, Artisan Guy says, logo looks like a tangled mess of overlapping letters, alphabet spaghetti. I have to a degree in digital graphic design, and it's not good. As you said, Brittany, it looks like it was done in a rush. Yes, and it looks like it was done like when she was doodling or something. It's just... It, Mm. Oh, we have another gifted members pebbles gifted five royal news network memberships why thank you so much pebbles i'm so excited for Brittany, people to check that out sean jules just to suggest and put your comment in all caps so Brittany will more likely to see it that is her commonly request i need to say that more because sometimes i i don't anymore but yes it helps me find things because you guys are so <laughs> and I know I miss things and I apologize guys I cannot get to every question I try but there's just only so much time in the day um, and so yeah Ms. Masta says I wonder why she hasn't gone after anyone in the US press oh that's right first amendment that's bonkers yes yeah she can <laughs> Janice Zeger says what is Harry doing Megan has her project but what is Harry doing no idea no idea that's a problem for him too it's like it's, he seems to solely now have the Invictus games and whatever he's still doing with Better Up, I think it was called the company. Yeah, other than that, I don't think he really has much. 
Wildcat Wilma says, allegedly the editor is despair tried to tell Harry not to publish some more personal details, but he said he wanted to. Yeah, and again, he's he's not the brightest guy in the world, and I think he sh could have utilized some some no. Uh, Susie W, good afternoon, Brittany. Four sends woof woof to Miss Pippa. Oh, I thank you. She says woof woof back. Uh, Stephen Magnus says three ninety nine. Mummy and Daddy palm trees, ceramic salt and pepper shakers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And uh, Ruby Rose says Pippa named her latest daughter Rose after the rumor came out. So yeah. So if Rose was really that much of an issue, again, it would be addressed. And again, I have said, and I think this is somewhat true that at least in British aristocratic circles, in some ways, cheating is is not seen the same as I think to normal people because so often most of these aristocratic families for a long time they they married based on alliances and family relationships and stuff, not because necessarily they wanted to marry this particular person. That's totally changed now, but I think some of that mindset is still there. But again, if the rumors were really true, Pippa would not have done that. Uh, Julie says, why didn't she make a cooking and lifestyle show on Netflix? Apparently she is going to, but, but she has not yet, which is dumb. Why launch your, well, why launch your whole thing when it's not done? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Asma says, has Megan ever admitted she's wrong? No. As far as I'm aware, Megan has not admitted she's wrong on things, which I think is a huge, huge issue. For Megan going forward is that she doesn't ever admit fault in anything. It's always somebody else's fault. It's always not her fault. It's just like, goodness. <laughs> I think Megan should sell a Prince Harry Chia pet. <laughs> oh, man. As the missus, I lost my father nearly a year ago. It makes me so angry that Megan could drive to see her dad. I'm so sorry, Asima, for your loss. But yeah, I think, again, Megan will should visit her dad. And again, Harry and Meghan could do the simple things, make amends with his family, make amends with hers and their, their, their public image would shoot up a thousand percent, but they just cannot seem to do it. They can't seem to do it. <laughs> Who's going to watch her cooking show when she can't? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It just doesn't look, I don't know. I don't really watch cooking shows, so it's not really something that interests me much anyways, but can she be, authentic can she be natural i mean it would also be a way too to kind of get maybe the kids on screen i don't know pebbles all gifted one real news network membership thank you so much uh julia says valerie yeah i agree did you see the real rogue channel uh pinky pie says was harry in the basement for his video <laughs> what was with the cowboy hat on the wall next to him maybe they when they were play acting apparently this was when he was uh he was um, um when he was skiing so that's why Rafaela says, I work in communications and I design logos. This logo doesn't work on any level. It's not readable. If white on dark background, worse, too many fonts, thin lines, zoom out. It's an in smashed insect. A hundred percent. hundred percent. Janice says, Kensington Palace needs to hire Taylor Swift's PR team. Yes, I think they need to hire a more, a, I don't necessarily want to say younger, but definitely more robust PR team. Um, when it comes to social media, especially Brandy asks if you were hired to fix a logo and name, what would you do? Again, I had my whole idea. This like, um, Bradicea, Bradicea, uh, which is a flower, local flower in the area. Cause if you want to keep, cause what Megan is attempting to do and doing poorly is referencing her local area. That seems to be important to her. And Maybe making some personal connections. I don't know. So I, I picked the flower because I thought the name sounded cool. It's interesting. Nobody else uses it. So that way you could have something where you can start and start creating your own brand based around that because you don't really have any competition except for people Googling the flower. It's kind of like Magnolia. And so you could utilize, I think, too, the design of the flower for the logo. You could also take the flower and utilize it as part of your branding color palette because the Royal News Network, guys, has a color palette. Yeah, the blue I use, you'll notice it's a very specific blue. I actually know the exact number of it. So I put that in for stuff. And that is what I would do. I make the logo so much more, so much simpler. Again, a simple flower, maybe a couple of flourishes. She could still maybe write it in her special, special cursive. But overall, I would make it just so much simpler than it is. 
one word is better. Rhodesia, yes, it's long, but it's just one word. And it's, it's sort of unique sounding. So again, it kind of hits that goop thing where it's, it's, it's sort of unique in a weird way. So I think that works much better. So again, yeah. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, oops. I was going to show the screen again because I was like, this is a flower. I would totally do. Look at isn't that pretty. So pretty. Oh, so pretty. Oh, you could do such a great brand around that and everything. My goodness. Color palette with the greens and the purples and lavenders and the whites. And oh, my goodness. My goodness. Uh, awesome. Diva Goddess says they did start uh, have a tech savvy rep, but the media started calling that person too slick for the monarchy. Remember, Will's hired somebody with a corporate media background. Yes, but I think he was doing the videos or something. Um, and so there's a couple of different different things. Annie says, Annie Anama says, can you imagine a car crash TV factor for a Netflix cooking show from her? Almost worth it to sign Netflix to you. I actually guys wanted to consider starting a cooking show too. And I, I don't like cooking, but I have this really old recipe book from the early like 1900s and it has recipes. It's actually so old. It's like in the digital archives. Like you can look up the book because it's for free. And it has like every recipe you could possibly imagine. And so I was like, I would have done like the Victorian cooking show <laughs> and I would attempt to make things. And I think they're the, the funny thing is I can't, I'm not a great cook. So there are no, no temperatures, no measuring things. Really. It says like a coffee cup, a, a, teacup or something like it, it lists things that we don't actually have. So I think it would be really funny. Uh, Jason Lee says I was reading comments on one of the Markle supporters, YouTube channels, calling her the Duchess of success. <laughs> uh, NAA says, I believe that you recognize in others, those bad qualities in yourself. You are not willing to accept that you have to accept that you have. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty I guess I don't quite get it, but I think um, I'm pretty always um, good at sharing what I'm not great at. So, but Janice says bad press is good press too, but only bad press. I don't think so. Yes, but it's again too, it's kind of the thing where if you have bad press, you need to be able, to, I mean, the thing is with Megan is she needs to turn her bad press into cold, hard cash. And I just don't think she can do that. Oops. Um, she could write a book at the top and <laughs> wrote to self-destruction, another bestseller from this one's wife. Yeah, that would work. Uh, Ange says, I love your channel. Why? Thank you, Ange. CJ says, hello, Brittany from Seoul. Thank you for dissecting me. It's branding disaster. It makes me sleep at night. Oh, thank you. It makes me sleep at night too, because somehow I'm like, how did you fail this badly? How did you feel this badly? I came up with better stuff and I'm not even a good branding person. Kyler says, absolutely love your new setup. It somehow feels like you are closer and much more like we all have coffee and chat together. Well, that is awesome. Thank you. Lorraine says, watching from Perth, Australia, I think Princess Catherine won't share any more pics. Yeah, and I don't blame her. 100% do not blame her. Oh, <laughs> uh, Brittany, I get commercial at the beginning. You can just sit with Ms. Pippa for 30 seconds at the beginning. Uh, that would help. Yeah, I need to figure out some sort of intro, but some of it too is when you put um, turn on like the monetization stuff, which I do because sometimes I forget and oh, it's all it's all a mess. It's hard to keep up with everything. So I was like, I, be, I was like, I'll turn it on so I don't forget. <laughs> Good morning from the Netherlands. New setup looks great. Why? Thank you. Why? Thank you. According to the Royal Rogue, there's an aero company in South America. Um, I don't think that's a, I, I wouldn't really worry too much about other countries except for the UK, US, Canada, Australia, maybe that have countries with that name. Um, but I would, especially because it is so American dependent and you have American, like again, simple things that you could avoid. And I think I came up with a pretty good brand strategy right there with the flower. I think that's good. I think that's good. And if Megan comes up with that at some point, you know she watches this channel. That would be so funny. Um, P Pacific says the photos that surfaced yesterday were old ones of Prince with George and Charlotte outside old Thomas Battersea school. Yeah, I, I'm that would make sense. Not everybody has seen those. I've seen those if it's from the back of her head or something, and she's walking the kids there. 
Uh, Annie Anonymous says, Brittany, you're shelving in the corner of the room. Looks um, Behind you, it looks like Megan's new logo. It does. It does. That's like a whole um, shelving setup. It has like these massive, heavy granite things that go on a couple of them. Cuckoo Kachu says, Cuckoo Kachu. <laughs> I'll tell you what's going on. She's harvesting information and selling it. I mean, that's part of it, but like she, she'll look really, really silly for not getting something together. Uh, Liz, Julie Ann Lewis, Lizzie. Yeah. There's a, a bloody YouTube channel that keeps putting out fake pictures of Catherine Princess of Wales. I fell for it once. Yeah. I tried it. The only problem I had recently was with the Harry and Meghan and the PR stunt with the family. Cause I wasn't sure if I could use the pictures or not. Cause somebody said that the, that he had copyrighted the pictures. And so I decided not to use them in the thumbnail. So I had to use a different picture and I felt bad, but sometimes you do, but I will say it was the Metro, I think, or something that used a totally different picture of Catherine in a car to say that she had been seen out and about. And I was like, I, I, I commented on that. I was like, dude, you guys are using such a wrong picture and giving people such a wrong inclination. Cause I looked at it cause I wanted to see, and I was like, Oh, from a former engagement. I was like, Oh, come on. Be better than that. Uh, Wildcat Wilma says, sorry, it's not up to the USA to determine that choice. Queenie would not abdicate because of how she ended up on the throne. She would not. But again, I can see a future making making that happen. Uh, Asma says, stop making fetch happen. Yeah. Uh, don't you want to hear Megan's explanation for the name of her latest lame fiasco? Yes, I do. I do. I want, I want an explanation, honestly. I'm like, how did you get like there's so many better names like. Misty Lulu says Prince of Liechtenstein is the richest royal family member in Europe. And then Prince von Thurn and Taxis in second. And then Prince Albert of Monaco. Yes. And if y'all are wondering, ladies, the Prince of von Thurn and Taxis, as far as I'm aware, is still single. <laughs> uh, Siva says her 474 followers on IG. So the number of sugars on the entire planet. Uh, yeah, I mean, which is still a pretty large number, but also, wow, not that much at the same time. Gretchen says, Joanna and Chip Gaines company was called Magnolia before they ever did HGTV. She had a small store in Waco like that 20 years ago with that name and they were already flipping houses, et cetera, on a smaller scale. Yes. And so because of like the history and stuff, it worked. But again, you got to think through different things to kind of get to where, it, to where it was. Well, Wildcat Woman said reportedly the 1.2 million was more than all the clothes cost for the royal woman across UK and uh, UK and EU. That's when Charles told Harry, I'm not your bank. That 1.2 million, that was E E O Y. Yeah. So she spent a lot of money on clothes that first year. A lot. Uh, Trisha Callahan says, know the difference between views and followers. Yeah. Always. It's always interesting to see. <laughs> uh, Betty says the logo looks like a spina graph fail. Yeah, I can see that. Charleston Tracy says she wants to make as much money as possible doing very little work. She's epitome of entitlement. Yes, I agree. She Mademoiselle Rhapsody says she could be successful as a silent partner, but she can't stay silent. Yes, I, I think so. I think that would have been much better option is to facilitate and grow creators that you think are doing well and think could be interesting. And I think that would be so much more helpful than what she's trying to do. <laughs> uh, Najima says the logo is a mess because she's hiding her saying she is American Royal Megan, probably. And again, but it's just, just so stupid. It's just like so stupid. Like, oh, come on. Like, it would be one thing if you put like a minuscule something like that in like the brand in the logo somewhere, but without it being clear, it's yeah, it's um, kind of a bad, bad train wreck, I think, in my opinion. But again, that's just my opinion. Other people can have different opinions. <laughs> what do Harry and Meghan do all day? No idea. Because she definitely should have a show and products to sell if she's launching a social media account. Launching a social media with nothing else is a bad idea. Uh, Kate Tackerberry says, if surely if she's making food stuff, there must be a quality and hygiene control. In the UK, you can't just make food and sell it without hygiene certification, suitable premises, prep areas, etc. Yes, she could do it maybe on a small scale, but having it on a larger scale it would be hard. 
Oh, Jojo says, thank you, Pebbles, for my membership. That is so kind. It's so nice when that happens. We have Jay Kearns, too, giving a tip saying, Megan has divided families and countries. Yes. She's a very divisive person. She's a very, very divisive person. So it just, yeah. It's just very sad. Jazz says, I designed the name logo for my son-in-law. It's a bus company, and it stands out so well that everyone knows who he is. Yes, and that is what you want. That's what you want. Like, her her thing almost looks like a monogram you would see on, like, on a dish, like on a handkerchief or something. So it's like, again, it's not very clear. Chrissy says, if Megan used your flower, people would compare her to Jan and Gaines even more. Magnolia and Rhodesia are both flowers. I don't think that name would work either. Yeah, but at least it would be somewhat better than American Riviera Orchard. Oh. <laughs> Pinkie Pie says color and this one's wife do not go together. Notice all the flowers in the video were white. Yeah, she I, I like there was a woman on. I think she caused a bit of a fuss, too, at the time, because it was like the first time people had really heard this is that she she didn't want she hates color. And I'm like, how can you hate color? Color is so fun. And she's like one of those beige people like, oh, the beige people. I am not a beige person. I prefer color. I mean. Sometimes I like beige if, you know, or something, but I'm hanging out in, at home by myself. <laughs> but most of the time, I like actually create, like, I like color. We need to appreciate that Catherine has no constitutional role as opposed to Charles, who is king and has a constitutional role, hence the different approach. Yes, I do agree with this. Yes, I, I know some people have said, well, we've seen Charles. I was like, yeah, but he needed to be seen. He's the king. And if he's like totally disappearing and nobody sees him and he's a king you know people will wonder what's going on so it made her made it made it made sense oh i <laughs> that didn't make as much of sense but it makes sense it made sense sleepy foxes i hate cooking too lol i once thought it would be hilarious to create a cooking show with people that don't like to cook and all the ways to fail at a meal yes and it would be funny too again with this book because it is no, let's like put it over an open flame is like the direction. <laughs> Lee Whipper says, morning, Brittany from Chile, US. I don't believe make a cook than take from someone else. Um, she's discussing. Yeah, I just don't think that she, I just don't know if she has her own recipes or anything. Uh, Amy says, when branding yourself, you must be seriously authentic. Otherwise, you won't be able to hold on to your brand image for long. Good luck with that, Megan. Yes, agree with that 100%. People always fall in the thing of they create the brand, but that was never really them in the first place. And then they kind of, end up having a disaster after them. <laughs> I would laugh if Princess Catherine got a Barbie made and Megan didn't. I'm pretty sure Catherine actually does have a wedding Barbie doll. Pretty sure. So we're going to look it up here real quick. Yes, I believe. And it is on eBay, guys. So if you guys want to... Um, oh, whoops, it opened up, of course, in another window. But yes, guys, as you can see, there is a Kate and William Barbie doll. So if you are that inclined, actually, the Barbie doll I want is the Empress Josephine Barbie doll, which is like $1,000. But here is the Kate and William Barbie doll. Oh, look at them. Oh, Barbie collector, $349.99. I feel like I almost should get this. Cat William and Catherine Royal Wedding. Oh, I should have gotten one of these. Oh, look, it's so cute, guys. It's so cute. Oh, and I'm not a super big fan of William, but Catherine looks great. Oh, man, guys, should I get that? I feel like I should get that at some point, right? Right? Oh, Catherine says the like button is lonely. Yes. What is happening with her podcast? No idea. She did get to number two in all the podcasts, but it's now like dropped out quite a bit. And yeah, as far as we know, we don't have a date for it again. It's like you announce it, but like, where is the product? It seems to take way too long. Debbie H says, I come in a bit late today. Good morning. But who is trying to what? But who is she trying to relate to with her new venture? I can't pick picture her being domestic goddess or is it just me? No, definitely not. Definitely not. Um, yeah. So we will we will see. The pebble says the Barbie makes you relevant. Uh, yeah. I love Barbies. I've always been a Barbie fan, guys. I don't, I've never understood the idea that Barbie makes you feel bad about yourself. I never felt bad at my, about myself or had negative bar, body image issues because of Barbie. I love Barbie. Um, and so I kind of want that, but I want, yeah, the Empress Josephine Barbie doll. 
and I kind of almost want the Catherine William one too. Uh, um, because they used to do really like cool special different editions Barbie dolls, but they don't really do that anymore. Um, oh, it's not as expensive as I remember it being. Um, but this oh of course it opened oh, darn it opens up in another window but um so but i will but here is guys the empress josephine barbie doll if you are curious there is an empress josephine one um so yeah there's a five thousand nine hundred yeah this this one's very expensive <laughs> more expensive than the kate and william one i feel like i should get the kate and william one oh it has no cover box that's kind of sad 2005. I think I wanted that maybe for something, but oh, okay. So we're going to start talking about Barbies. <laughs> Najima says, you'll regret it if you don't buy it. I regretted it at the time. Like, I remember this came out in 2005. I remember that Barbie doll. I'm wanting that Barbie doll. Oh my gosh. Um, it's so, it's so silly. <laughs> I always had the dolls no one wanted. Yeah, that's always sad too. You get the dolls and like, oh, I, it's going to be worth something one day. It never is. It never is. Asma says, I love Barbie. Oh, Barbie's the best. Uh, Rebecca says, I was a Barbie girl too. And I will say, guys, absolutely 100%. My dad calls any overly girly mess he comes across a Barbie explosion. And that comes from my sister and I having Barbie explosions as children. <laughs> so I just think that's so. <laughs> Kyler says, oh, absolutely. I think you should treat yourself, Brittany, especially if you're a Barbie fan. Maybe I will, and I'll show it on the video. Get Yes, get Barbie. Oh, now you guys are tempting me. I really feel like I need to get it. Oh. <laughs> Renee says, hi, Brittany, everyone. The logo is so horrible and convoluted. Uh, Coffee says, who is Megan going to blame for the name? Yeah, I mean, that's all she has. Um, <laughs> so Lisa says, cooking is an art form like any other. She's not a chef, so she cannot create recipes or dishes never seen before. What is she going to teach us? all how to boil an egg great point it, yeah again that requires some creativity and she i she just does not strike me so far as a very creative person so it's like she either is gonna have to emulate somebody else or something <laughs> cindy says most people under, understand that barbie is a doll not a person to emulate yes i don't understand like people said that i was like oh barbie give me a negative self-image i'm like why she's a doll <laughs> never understood that but again i was always a bit of an Odd duck in some ways. Uh, my favorite Barbie was the Princess of Ireland. She was gorgeous. I have a couple still. And I had some special edition ones. And if I looked at and they were still worth something, I kept them in the box. But most of mine weren't worth anything. So I just, the ones I liked and still thought were cool, I took them out of the box. Because I'm like, well, maybe I'll have kids and I'll, you know, you can play with the special edition Barbie dolls. Who cares? <laughs> Water says, lovely. I have three Harley Davidson Barbies with official jackets, three style Barbies, each style. Only 101 were made. That's so cool. Oh my gosh, we should talk about Barbie. Oh, I miss Barbie. <laughs> LOL, Barbie explosion is funny. Yes, it is very funny. Like anything glittery, anything like overly girly and pink, and he sees it all around. He's like, oh, it's a Barbie explosion. <laughs> oh. Uh, Beverly says, there are a number of unsigned photos of Megan on eBay with donation to cancer. That's weird. It's a little odd. Quick buy Barbie because if Megan gets wind of this one, she will buy it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Brittany, Gretchen says, Brittany, if you buy the Barbie, make a video to set, make it a business expense. Maybe a good excuse to buy. I think technically, yes, which is crazy. Um, and it would honestly, so I have this bookshelf here, but I'm actually planning on putting another bookshelf over on the other side. And that bookshelf, it'll be the same style bookshelf. And that bookshelf will have more books because I have actually books on the floor here that I can't fit up there. And I will actually probably film most of my videos. I'll have like a permanent setup over there and a permanent setup in front of my desk. So I don't have to move my equipment that much, which is kind of the dream. <laughs> Cause sometimes it's annoying to have to move things, adjust things. If I could just leave it there, that would be awesome. And that might be something I put on the shelf. Hmm. Oh, my daughter cut her hair on all her Barbies. Oh yeah. That's, that's sad. <laughs> uh, Isa Texas says American Riviera is such a pretentious name like its creator. Yes. Oh, yes. All right, guys. We have hit 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I think we will go ahead and wrap it up. I'm so excited that we got to talk about Barbie towards the end. I actually didn't see the movie, but I love Barbies. I have love Barbies. Kate Powell says I had one Barbie and it was Malibu Barbie from 72. 
And as I am a twin, my sister got the same one. Oh, one time I was really uh, frustrated because I wanted this particular Barbie and my grandma like switched the names. And so my sister got it instead of I and I got the Barbie I already had. And <laughs> so I was like, oh. but that's okay. Missy Lulu says, and the Emma, the Marchioness of Bath, whose father is from Nigeria, has a very famous signature dessert, Rose and Mangure. Megan is delusional. Yes. Oh, yes. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, Asma says. Thank you, Brittany. Um, yes, thank you guys so much for indulging. And maybe, maybe one day we shall see me open up the box of a Catherine and William Barbie doll. We shall see. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful Saturday and or Sunday, depending on where you are at in the world. And I shall see you guys soon. Bye.